But getting back to this game that I never left. When them niggas heard right. this and seen this, them niggas didn't come see me. Them niggas didn't call me. Like bitches. They jumped their ass on social media, got in the audience among themselves, yeah. and talked about my dick amongst each other and shit like that. That's why I don't respect them. Niggas. That's why them niggas is bitches to me. That's why the nigga that was living in my house that I took care of that's in his 40s like a little ass boy. That's why I see that nigga as a bitch. Because he carried himself like a bitch. Don't no man do no right. shit like that. Nigga sit up there and get you out of jail. Give you motherfucking freedom and put clothes on your back and give you hoes. You don't get your ass on social media. The fuck wrong with you? So that's why I real come up to like that. Like a man, P, on some real, he should have came at you first. Like, look, P, this is what's going on right. now. Right, don't be sitting over there. And I, especially, I hold on, hold on. Especially if you pimp with a nigga and you seen a nigga Pimp on nothing but grown women, knock nothing but grown women. How you gonna allow somebody to speak on that nigga like he a pedophile? And you don't come see that nigga or talk to that nigga. Nigga, you's a bitch. And I don't, everybody know I don't bite my tongue. You know what I mean? I don't bite my tongue at all. So, you know what I mean? It is what it is on that. But let me say that to you, young peas. When you have pimp with somebody in the trenches, side by side with a nigga, regardless of who the fuck saying whatever you come see what that man is saying you call him right. or you come to his house y'all speak like men and chop it up because if i see you jump on the internet then i know what you on you trying to get some clout you want some followers especially nowadays you want likes you want uh a youtube channel you want to be like simple to pee just be real i it, uh that was the realest thing that the toothless said when he was like yeah i don't care nothing about this and he finally admitted that he didn't care why because you always wanted to be sinful to pee the whole time you wanted to be sinful to pee so that's all that is but to my young peas yeah. when you pimp in the trenches with a nigga you didn't pimp side by side cross country especially if a nigga didn't set up there and did something for you that most of us haven't you owe that man a phone call or you supposed to go see that man you don't allow nobody to influence you to think whatever about, especially when you know this for yourself, the f you mean. So that's why, I, and then it was right. so many that used to have worship service in my inbox. These was like my kids, my fans. And now all of a sudden you didn't grew up. You got a bitch or two. Now you a pimp or you got so much going on where you can't call me or come see me when you was just having worship service you i was uh damn near you know what i mean a god to you so you know like right. i said just a lot of bitch ass niggas in the game man yeah i mean you've seen that say that on a few of your videos too and now i can really like those of us like you know i and i can't speak for everybody but it's certain shit you say my nigga, like we can you know we can really feel the passion we can really feel the realness and i'll be here and i'll be seeing you man saying like man don't just know my number don't know watch that i guess the, at the man. time you're still out there in, um, in uh, arizona and i just want to say one thing too in case anybody mm -hmm. don't know it is not cheap to live in scottsdale arizona so i don't know who or what <laughs> you know what I'm saying? now phoenix you can get up you can get by but scottsdale and glendale arizona oh no it's not cheap but yeah but like i was saying though that um and I'll be seeing that shit. See, I wasn't on your channel back then, so back when a lot, so a lot of those videos I'll be seeing, you know, they right, be old yeah. videos and shit okay. like that, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, even with Johnny, once, since I've been on the channel, you know, you've been solo bolo, P, like, you just been you free, and, you know, our big brother from another mother, Andre Taylor, you know what I'm saying? That's it. But, uh, yeah, I think that's just, that's just foul, my nigga, like, especially, especially with, with, in, in, in this game of bars, man, you know, it's like a, like you said, it's a lot of it's like you don't really know what these, you know. Say you you think that it's cool, and just as a man, like if a nigga got me out of jail, you know what I'm saying, slid me some game, put me up in the spot. Like I, I ain't never been in a position like that. But if I was like, my, nigga, I would feel like I owe that nigga everything entitled to this game. Like I would do the best I can to really look out for people because it's like, man. And then of course, you know, if when the when the slander got to come like that off the top, man, straight from the dribble. They should have got at you. It's, no, 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 no. When you act like 
it's new information and you already knew the circumstances of the situation, but you act like it's a revelation on the internet. I can't respect that. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, Pete. So, wait, 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 let me get this understood. They knew about the bullshit before it hit the internet? The, the toothless, truthless already knew basically that I was never convicted for that, that I had a case for yeah. that, but he presented it once it had blew up, he tried to go to the other side and put on an Oscar award performance as if he never knew. Then what made it look very f***ed up is he presented himself to be like a, he presented himself to be an activist for children. Then later on, you admit that you don't give a f about the situation, but you presented yourself as if you was in love with children, but you don't even take care of your own children. Like, I don't owe child oh, support. Cold. You know what I mean? You put in Philip Bryan and Gilmore, I don't register for a sex offender. I don't owe child right. support. You got to think about the character that you're speaking about. You're talking about a motherfucker that the car that you say that you pimped up for, I done gave that to a donation to children. That and again and right. again. So when it comes to doing something for the youth, you have no business talking about me or saying it. You're not even in my category. None of you are. None of you. Mm -hmm. The things that I've done, unheard of for an active mother. So no, you not me. Yes, I'm going to talk to you like you right here and I'm up here. You ain't doing nothing. All the niggas that talk about they having money and all that shit, them just know how to make shit look good. Showing the same twenty and $30,000 like I said, we could get off a of social network, FaceTime each other, or meet each other in person, and we could see who doing what by, because it's, it's, it's something on your phone called a speaker. And we could call each bank and allow them bank accounts to be heard. We could do a Hell credit yeah. check in front of each other, and we could find out who doing what. Most of you ain't doing shit. If you die right now, the game would have to raise a GoFundMe for you. So you're not doing that much pimping. Stop that. Right. Me, I let it be known. Like they doing big pimping. Bro, stop it. I always let it know. I always let things be known with y'all that look, uh, just like, you know, uh, later on this week, I'm going to be up in Brampton. I'm going to be paying that good old $89 a day to stay at that room, stacking up my money. I did this, you know, just so they get away, have a nice little time. You know, but no, I'm not about to be paying five hundred dollars a day to keep staying somewhere. No, I'm not pimping on that level. And even if I was, I still wouldn't do it. So, uh, you know, I'm going back until I get that house with that basement. I'm not trying to be in nobody's apartment and all of that. Some people are into that, but you see how loud I am. You know what I mean? It's the reason why that door is slammed over there and that. I got that plan and everything like that, so I won't be heard. I don't want to do that all the time. I want to sit up there and set up shop mm -hmm. in a motherfucking basement to have everything going. You know what I mean? I, I kept it real about the citizenship, uh, uh, everything. You know what I mean? So, right. I mean, it's right. open field with me, you know, but all the mother cats, I don't know, man. Like, I see them in their 40s yeah. still talking like the little homie. So I see the mess, the little one. <laughs> I hope you guys live as long as you want and never want as long as you live, man. Y'all be blessed now.